Hi everyone, this is a tutorial to show you how to activate the SSL certificate that you will get for free from Cloudflare so that you can make sure that your WordPress website, website is HTTPS um, and for free. So similar to Let's Encrypt. So I just want to take you through the steps of how to set this up using Cloudflare. So I've got these instructions which I'll share with you in the document. but first thing you'll need to do is make sure that you have a Cloudflare account and that also that you're using Cloudflare's name service on your domain. So what I mean by that, I'm going to use this test domain that I've got over here and as you can see I've changed my name service to the one that Cloudflare give me, um, gave me. I'm not going to go through that of how Cloudflare gives you this, it's very easy to do when you set up your, your Cloudflare Flare account. So once we've done that, next thing we need to do is open up our Cloudflare account and make sure that the flexible SSL certificate is, uh, is on. So what I mean by that is if you log in to your Cloudflare account, I'm coming across to these tabs, the one that says crypto, you'll go there and you'll be able to see SSL. It's the encryption set to flexible and it's an active certificate. So that's perfect. That's what you need to have. Then what we're going to do is go into our WordPress dashboard for the WordPress website that we want to convert to HTTPS and we're going to need to install two plugins and activate them. So the first one you're going to have to do is go to Cloudflare's official plugin which is this one over here. So under wordpress.org plugins dash WP forward slash Cloudflare you'll see this is the official Cloudflare plugin and you'll need to install this one over here. The second plugin that you'll need to install is going to be this one called Really Simple SSL. This is this one over here, WordPress.org, voiceless plugins dash WP Really Simple SSL. And I'd recommend that one there. So once you've, once, uh, we've got to go through that and just install those two. So if I come to the site, uh, sorry, that's my test site that I'm going to just show you. Um, I'm over here, sorry. Okay, so I've already done it where I've just installed Cloudflare. Um, I've gone through the process of just adding the plugin and then I've also installed um, really simple SSL but I haven't activated it at the moment which I will in a second. So let's start with Cloudflare. What we need to do, as I said here, so you can add, you're going to need to add your Cloudflare email and the global API code uh, which they give you and then change some settings in here. So let's just do that right now. So I'm going to it's activated. I'm going to go to settings. Okay. Well, I've already gone through the process um, on this particular one because I've activated it. Where I put in, it's going to ask you for your Cloudflare account email address and the API. Just to show you where you can get the API, if you go into your Cloudflare account, what you're going to do is go to settings and then you're going to scroll down and you'll see here where it's under API keys. I used this one over here where I clicked view API, gave me the key and I just pasted it into the plugin over here. What I like to then do is just, I, I set it on to automatic cache but the main thing you need to do as I mentioned here is once you've done those two points then come across and click on the HTTPS setting in the plugin. So if I come to settings, scroll down, scroll down and you'll need this one, this automatic HTTPS rewrites. So let's turn that on. So you need to flick that switch on. Right, once you've done that, what we're going to have to do is go back to plugins. And now we're going to install the really simple SSL. So don't activate this yet because as soon as you activate really simple SSL, what's going to happen is, just to show you, at the moment you can see that I'm HTTP and HTTP. So what we're going to, what's going to happen now is when I activate it, it's going to change that to HTTPS. So let's go to this now. I'm going to activate. Okay, it's going to ask me, do I want to go ahead and activate? Yes. And there we go. So it's probably going to ask me to log in maybe. Yep, as you can see, I've now got the little certificate sign over here, but we're not done yet. So what we need to do is come back across and go back to our Cloudflare account, and now we're going to have to change some page rules. And when we go to page rules, we're going to have to add this type of example over here and then choose the settings. So let me take you through that. So you're going to come back to your Cloudflare accounts. 
you're going to come across to this tab that says page rules and you can see I've already added it here but just to show you all I did was you have to add in the HTTP so I can delete all this here so if, if I had to say forget that it's pretty easy with Cloudflare so let me just show you here if I try to say this save and deploy it's going to tell me nope you need to have the HTTP there okay so that's fine so if I do it like that so HTTP colon forward slash forward slash asterisk your root domain name over there extension and then asterisk again and what you have to do is click on this button and you'll see that you get a whole bunch of options over here what you want to do is always use the HTTPS and then click save and deploy um, sorry I don't know why I'm messing that up but as you can see always use that so I'm just going to flick that switch on now and there we go so that's on right and that's it so once you've really done that so I'm going to come back to this now and I'm just going to log in and as you can see here it is I've got that if I click it connection secure and it's secured by Cloudflare's SSL and if I go to the live sites you can see just because I'm I'm logged in you can see that but again there we go it's all activated and that's how you create a free uh, SSL certificate that will be renewed automatically by Cloudflare forever and more for free on your WordPress website.